Martyrs of the Spanish Civil War is the name given by the Catholic Church to the people who were killed by Republicans during the war because of their faith. More than 6,800 clergy and religious were killed in this Red Terror. As of November 2018, 1,891 Spanish martyrs have been beatified, 11 of them being canonized. For some 2,000 additional martyrs, the beatification process is underway. History During the Spanish Civil War of 1936–1939, and especially in the early months of the conflict, individual clergymen were executed while entire religious communities were persecuted, leading to a death toll of 13 bishops, 4,172 diocesan priests and seminarians, 2,364 monks and friars and 283 nuns, for a total of 6,832 clerical victims, as part of what is referred to as Spain's Red Terror. Topic. Pope John Paul II Pope John Paul II beatified a total of about 500 martyrs in the years 1987, 1989, 1990, 1992, 1993, 1995, 1997 and 2001. Some 233 executed clergy were beatified by John Paul II on of March 2001. In 1999 he also canonized a Christian brother and the Nine Martyrs of Tyrone, the first group of Spanish Civil War martyrs to reach sainthood. Regarding the selection of candidates, Archbishop Edward Novick from the Congregation of Saints explained in an interview with La Servator Romano, "...ideologies such as Nazism or Communism serve as a context of martyrdom, but in the foreground the person stands out with his conduct, and, Case by case, it is important that the people among whom the person lived should affirm and recognize his fame as a martyr and then pray to him, obtaining graces. It is not so much ideologies that concern us, as the sense of faith of the people of God, who judge the person's behavior. <laughs> Pope Benedict XVI Benedict XVI beatified 498 more Spanish martyrs in October 2007, in the largest beatification ceremony in the history of the Catholic Church. In this group of people, the Vatican has not included all Spanish martyrs, nor any of the 16 priests who were executed by the nationalist side in the first years of the war. This decision has caused numerous criticisms from surviving family members and several political organizations in Spain. The beatification recognized the extraordinary fate and often brutal death of the persons involved. Some have criticized the beatifications as dishonoring non clergy who were also killed in the war, and as being an attempt to draw attention away from the Church's support of Franco. Some quarters of the Church called the nationalist cause a crusade. Within Spain, the civil war still raises high emotions. The act of beatification has also coincided in time with the debate on the law of historical memory about the treatment of the victims of the war and its aftermath promoted by the Spanish government. Responding to the criticism, the Vatican has described the October 2007 beatifications as relating to personal virtues and holiness, not ideology. They are not about resentment but reconciliation. The Spanish government has supported the beatifications, sending Foreign Minister Miguel Ángel Moratinos to attend the ceremony. Among those present was Juan Andrés Torres Mora, a relative of one of the martyrs and the Spanish MP who had debated the memory law for PSOE. The October 2007 beatifications have brought the number of martyred persons beatified by the Church to 977, 11 of whom have been canonized as saints. Because of the extent of the persecution, many more cases could be proposed, as many as 10,000 according to Catholic Church sources. The process for beatification has already been initiated for about 2,000 people. At the 28th of October 2007 beatifications, Pope Benedict underscored the call to sanctity for all Christians, saying it was realistic possibility for the entire Christian people. He also noted, this martyrdom in ordinary life is an important witness in today's secularized society. Topic Pope Francis Pope Francis beatified 522 martyrs on 13 October 2013, at Tarragona, Spain. Among them was Eugenio Sanz Orozco Mortera from Manila, Philippines, who became the first Filipino martyr of the Spanish Civil War. 
He also approved additional beatifications for Spanish martyrs that took place for a priest on 1 November 2014 as well as two sets of group martyrs on both 5 September 2015 and 3 October 2015. The Pope also approved the beatification of 26 Capuchin martyrs, which took place on 21 November 2015. The beatification for Valentin Palencia Marquina and his four companions took place on 23 April 2016 in Burgos. The beatification for Gennaro Fuyo Castañón and his three companions was celebrated in Oviedo on 8 October 2016 and the beatification of José Anton Gómez and three companions was celebrated in Madrid on 29 October 2016. The 114 Almerian martyrs were beatified on 25 March 2017, and Antonio Arribas Hortiguela and his six companions were beatified on 6 May 2017 in Girona. The beatification of Mateo Casals Mas and 108 companions were beatified in Barcelona on 21 October 2017 and Vicente Corral Uret and 20 companions as well as José María Fernández Sánchez and 38 companions were beatified in Madrid on of November 2017. The beatification of Teodoro Alera del Olmo and 15 companions will be held on 10 November 2018. Topic individual cases Topic Martyrs of Tyrone The Martyrs of Tyrone were a group of eight de la Salle brothers, and the Passionist priest who was with them, who were executed by striking miners at Tyrone in October 1934. Although this was nearly two years before the outbreak of the Civil War, their deaths were part of the same violence and anti-clerical feeling of that period in Spain's history, and are regarded as martyrs of the Spanish Civil War. They were beatified by Pope John Paul II on 29 April 1990, and were canonized by him on 21 November 1999. Saint Innocencio of Mary Immaculate Saint Innocencio of Mary Immaculate, born Emanuele Canora Arnaud, was a member of the Passionist Congregation and martyr of the Spanish Civil War, born on 10 March 1887 in Santa Cecilia del Valle de Oro in Galicia, Spain. He died at Tyrone, with his eight companions, on 9 October 1934. He was beatified on 29 April 1990 and was canonized by Pope John Paul II on 21 November 1999. Topic Saint Jaime Hilario Barbel Jaime Hilario Barbel, born Manuel Barbel Cosin, was raised in a pious and hard-working family near the Pyrenees Mountains. Entered the seminary at age 12, but when his hearing began to fail in his teens, he was sent home. Joined the Brothers of the Christian Schools at age 19, entering the novitiate on 24 February 1917 at Iron, Spain, taking the name Jaime Hilario. Exceptional teacher and catechist, he believed strongly in the value of universal education, especially for the poor. However, his hearing problems grew worse, and in the early 1930s, he was forced to retire from teaching, and began work in the garden at the La Salle House at San Jose, Tarragona, Spain. Imprisoned in July 1936 at Malarosa, Spain when the Spanish Civil War broke out and religious were swept from the street. Transferred to Tarragona in December, then confined on a prison ship with some other religious. Convicted on 15 January 1937 of being a Christian brother. Two rounds of volley fire from a firing squad did not kill him, possibly because some of soldiers intentionally shot wide, their commander then murdered Jamie with five shots at close range. First of the 97 La Salle brothers killed in Catalonia, Spain during the Spanish Civil War to be recognized as a martyr. He was beatified on 29 April 1990, and was canonized by Pope John Paul II on 21 November 1999. Saint Pedro Pavetta He was a priest, the founder of the Teresian Association and a martyr of the Spanish Civil War. He was beatified on 10 October 1993 and canonized on 4 May 2003. Topic. Passionist Martyrs of Damiel They were a group of priests and brothers of the Passionist Congregation killed by Republican forces during the Spanish Civil War. They were beatified by Pope John Paul II on 1 October 1989. Eyewitnesses reported that all of the Passionists had forgiven their murderers before they died. A witness to the murder of Father Niceforo reported that after being shot the priest turned his eyes to heaven then turned and smiled at his murderers. At this point one of them, now more infuriated than ever, shouted, What, are you still smiling? 
with that he shot him at point blank range. Topic: <laughs> Blessed Eugenio Sanz Orozco Mortera. Eugenio Sanz Orozco Mortera Jose Maria of Manila was born on 5 September 1880 in Manila, Philippines. He was a Franciscan Capuchin priest. He died a martyr on 17 August 1936, in Madrid, Spain, during the Spanish Civil War. He is venerated in the Catholic Church, which celebrates his feast on 6 November. He was beatified on 13 October 2013. Blessed Bartolomé Blanco Marquez Bartolomé Blanco Marquez was born in Córdoba, Spain in 1914. He was arrested as a Catholic leader. He was the Secretary of Catholic Action and a delegate to the Catholic Syndicates. On 18 August 1936. He was executed on 2 October 1936, at age 21, while he cried out, Long live Christ the King! Born in Pozoblanco 25 November 1914, Bartolomé was orphaned as a child, and raised by family with whom he worked. He was an excellent student, studying under the tutelage of the Salesian. <inaudible> <inaudible> Blessed Victoria Díaz Bustos de Molina She was a religious, the member of the same congregation and also a martyr of the Spanish Civil War. She was beatified on 10 October 1993. <inaudible> Blessed Pedro Asua Mendia Pedro was educated by Jesuits. Trained as an architect, graduating in 1915, he worked on schools, churches and houses for religious. He was ordained priest in the Diocese of Vitoria, Spain in 1924. He was executed on 29 August 1936. He was beatified on 1 November 2014. List of martyrs Beatification Asterisk means they are canonized. Canonization Topic. Background During the 19th and the 20th centuries, the Catholic Church in the Spain supported and was strongly supported by and associated with the Spanish monarchy. The Second Spanish Republic saw an alternation of leftist and conservative coalition governments between 1931 and 1936. Amidst the disorder caused by the military coup of July 1936, many supporters of the Republican government pointed their weapons against individuals they considered local reactionaries, including priests and nuns. A paradoxic case for foreign Catholics was that of the Basque Nationalist Party, at the time a Catholic party from the Basque areas, who after some hesitation, supported the Republican government in exchange for an autonomous government in the Basque country. Although, virtually every other group on the Republican side was involved in the anticlerical persecution, the Basques did not play a part. The Vatican diplomacy tried to orient them to the national side, explicitly supported by Cardinal Isidro Goma y Tomas, but the BNP feared the centralism of the nationals. Some Catalan nationalists also found themselves in the same situation, such as members of De Unió Democrática de Catalunya party whose most relevant leader, Manuel Carrasco i Formiguera was killed by the nationalists in Burgos in 1938. <laughs> Controversy A number of controversies have arisen around the beatification of some of these clerics. Some objectors oppose the notion of these priests being killed for mere religious hatred and, while not excusing their brutal murders, putting them in the context of the historical moment. Others question the appropriateness of beatification for some individuals who have less than saintly backgrounds. A third objection is the perceived partiality of the Church, where victims of the left have been proposed for beatification, while victims of the right have been ignored. Of the first objection, one of the most notable cases has centered on Cruz La Plana y Laguna, Bishop of Cuenca, a well-known supporter of the monarchist regime. 
After the proclamation of the Second Republic he carried out a number of right-wing political campaigns throughout the province, and had established close contacts with military officials such as General Joaquin Fangel, a supporter of the Nationalist Rebellion. La Plana y Laguna was described by his biographer as supreme advisor to the general, as well as being closely involved with the Falange. In 1936 he personally endorsed Falangista leader José Antonio Primo de Rivera as a candidate in the 1936 local elections. When the nationalist uprising in Cuenca failed, La Plana y Lagan was arrested by Republican militiamen for treason. He was tried for conspiring against the Republican government and executed on 8 August. Another is Fulgencio Martinez, a priest in the village of La Paca in Murcia, who was shot after the uprising, who was reported by many locals to be closely allied to the local landowners. Over several days before the uprising, Father Fulgencio met with these landowners in the village casino the hub of social life for the local elites in rural Spain to organize support for the rebellion. He offered guns and money to anyone who would join an improvised militia. On 18 July, the day of the uprising, Father Fulgencio was among the persons who went through the village streets on lorries, rallying support for the uprising with shouts of Viva el Ejercito! Long live the army! And Viva General Cuipo de Lano! Public statements by some of these clerics have also been widely publicized as a form of criticism against their beatification. Rigoberto Dominic, Archbishop of Zaragoza, declared publicly on of August 1936 that the military uprising was to be supported, and its defensive actions approved, because, "...it is not done in the service of anarchy, but in the benefit of order, fatherland, and religion." In response to the Red Terror. Another statement was that given in November 1938 by Leopoldo Eijo Garay, Bishop of Madrid Alcala, regarding a possible truce between Republican and rebel forces, to tolerate democratic liberalism would be to betray the martyrs. Of the second, the controversy surrounding the beatification of Augustinian friar Gabino Alasa Zabala, listed as a companion of Avelino Rodriguez Alonso, concerns his previous life. Friar Zabala was martyred during the civil war and was beatified. Attention was called to the fact that Fr. Alasa had been a missionary in the Philippines during the Katipunan rebellion against Spanish rule, and had been accused of torturing Friar Mariano Dacanay, an alleged rebel sympathizer. However this objection ignores the church proclamation that even sinners can repent and turn into saints, such as in the case of Augustine of Hippo. It also misunderstands the nature of a cause for martyrdom, where the primary factor is the person's death due to religious hatred of the faith, rather than the saintliness of his previous life. The third objection refers to the Church's attitude to victims of nationalist repression. Regarding the attitude of the Vatican, Manuel Montero, lecturer of the University of the Basque Country commented on 6 May 2007, the Church, which upheld the idea of a national crusade in order to legitimize the military rebellion, was a belligerent part during the Civil War, even at the cost of alienating part of its members. It continues in a belligerent role in its unusual answer to the historical memory law by recurring to the beatification of 498 martyrs of the Civil War. The priests executed by Franco's army are not counted among them. Its selective criteria regarding the religious persons that were part of its ranks are difficult to fathom. The priests who were victims of the Republicans are martyrs who died forgiving, but those priests who were executed by the Francoists are forgotten. While much of Republican Spain was anti clerical in sentiment, the Basque region, which also supported the Republic, was not. The clergy of the region stood against the nationalist coup and suffered accordingly. At least 16 Basque nationalist priests among them the Archpriest of Mondragon were killed by the nationalists, and hundreds more were imprisoned or deported. This included several priests who tried to halt the killings. To date, the Vatican has failed to consider these clergy as martyrs of the Spanish Civil War. See also Saint Innocencio of Mary Immaculate the Martyrs of Damiel Blessed Bartolomé Blanco Márquez, cooperator of the Salesian Fathers Suppression of Freemasonry Spain. Martyrs of the Cristero War Dina Martyrs 233 Spanish Martyrs 498 Spanish Martyrs 
External links Martyrs of Religious Persection During the Spanish Civil War First of 60 pages of martyrs with photos. The Persecution of Catholics in the Spanish Civil War From Zenit News Service article, A Martyr's Letter to His Girlfriend Ariticle from Catholic News Service References <references>